So, going on the hairy leg prediction, I'm going to have to say Blackpool 2-1. You're having me on! <laughs> Welcome back to another video. Now today we're back with the League One predictions. Yes, you're, you're right. We're on to game week five now. It's been four episodes. Uh, I'm ready for this one. Before we get into this video, please go down there and subscribe to the channel as we are on the road to 13,000 subscribers. Be sure to follow my Instagram, follow my group channel, The Offsiders, and uh, yeah, like target for this video. Let's go for 200 likes. Right. Let's get into it. Before we do, a lot of you are going to be wondering, where's Dad? Where's Griff Dad? Oh, where is he? Where's he at? Where's he gone? So, yeah, I don't know where he is. Oh! <laughs> what are you on? I'm with Yogi. <laughs> what are you wearing? <laughs> I had my hair done. Right then, so game week five. Before we do get into the predictions, we've got to run through last week's scores, Dad. You predicted the games on... Seat capacity of the stadium. <laughs> That's so stupid. I can't believe it. He got the extra score. Bloody right. <laughs> That's good, wasn't it? Uh, not good that we didn't win, but... We drew. We our point. We oh, I'm fuming. Point. Anyway, the scores from last yeah. week. I got... Two. And I got... Dad, uh, you got... Gone. You're going on form as well, aren't you? You got ten, Dad. Uh -huh. And Villa on tour, our guests got five. So the scores now, I'm on 16 points. Dad, you're on 22 points. Wow. And you've caught up with the guest because they are also <laughs> on 22 points. I'm just doing stupid predictions, it's aren't I? Yeah. Really? So each week, my dad is doing a different strategy. Yeah. And Dad, this week, you're doing... The team with the most hairy legs. That's what I've had my hair done. My head's gone. Right. Let's get into it. The guest today is Ellis Away Days. Thanks for having me on, Alex. My name is Ellis from the YouTube channel Away Days. If you're not familiar with me, I basically go to a different football ground each week and I've also got some football shirts. Um, delighted to have him on the channel. Go and subscribe to him. His link will be in the description down below, so go and subscribe to him. Right, so it's International Week. There are a few games that aren't being played due to international call-ups, but we've still got 10 games to predict. The first game being tonight, all right? Fleetwood versus Hull City. Um, Dad, this is a big game. Fleetwood haven't been in the greatest form. Hull City have obviously been, you know, they've been picking up a lot of wins. They haven't lost the game yet. But I feel like this is a game where Hull City might lose a couple of points. I think Fleetwood are going to get back into form. You know, they've just beaten Aston Villa's under... I know it's their younger squad, but I think Fleetwood are going to draw this game to Hull City 1-1. They usually do better against good sides. So I think Fleetwood will get a point here and draw 1-1. Okay, I'll just like to say, I've done some research on the team with the most hairy legs. And I've worked out that the more northern the team is, they tend to have a higher percentage of hairy legs because that's colder up north. So I've gone with the team that's furthest north in each fixture will have, more than likely, the hairier legs. You know, <laughs> to, you know, to keep the legs warm. What am I here? I can't believe I'm hearing this. Well, if they haven't got... See, they need to let the hair grow to have hairy legs to keep the legs warm. All right, here we go then. So Fleetwood, they've got more hairy legs than Hull City. So I've gone for Fleetfoot, Fleetwood. I nearly said Fleet, Fleetfoot. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Think about leg, legs. Hairy legs. <laughs> right, Fleetwood, 2-1. Ellis, over to you, mate. For Fleetwood versus Hull, I've gone for a 1-1. One, one. <laughs> All right, so the next game is Gillingham versus Oxford. This is a 1pm kickoff game. I think this has got a draw written all over it. It's another game where, you know, both sides not doing great. Gillingham have been doing okay. But I think this is going to be 1-1. Well, I've gone for Gillingham being the hairy ones. So I've gone for Gillingham 2-1. <laughs> Alice, over to you. Come on, Alice. Gillingham nil, Oxford 2 is my prediction for that one. I think Oxford are pretty strong. I think they'll probably grow into the season more as it goes on. I predict for them to finish around 5th. So expecting them to be too good for Gillingham this weekend. All right, OK. The next game is Accrington Stanley versus Rochdale. And not a massive game. This is a bit of a boring game, in my opinion. Accrington Stanley haven't been doing that badly. You know, they picked up a few few wins. They've been doing well. Um, Rochdale, yes, they did beat Fleetwood last week. I just think Accrington Stanley are going to edge this. They are at home. I think Accrington Stanley, Dad, are going to win this game 2-1. Okay, 
Well, I've worked out they've both got hairy legs, about as hairy as each other. So I've gone for uh, Accrington Stanley Rochdale 1 1. I've gone for Accrington 0, Rochdale 0, because a game has never screamed 0 0 more than Accrington against Rochdale. All right, Dad, we're here, we're back. Ipswich Town are playing Blackpool away. This is a game that got rearranged. We weren't supposed to be playing because we, you know, Ipswich Charlton got postponed. But this game has been arranged Blackpool versus Ipswich Town. It's going to be a really, really tough game for us. You know, Blackpool, very good side. They signed Luke Garber. Uh, it still winds me up. But um, I can't predict a loss for Ipswich Town. Mm. I really can't. But I could be completely wrong. Blackpool are a good side. and I'm not going to rule them out. However, I'm sticking with the boys. Come on, the boys. We're getting the win tomorrow. I think we're going to scrape a win 2-1. That's a tough one for me because Blackpool's up north. Oh, shut up, Dad. And they've got hairy legs to keep warm. So, going on the hairy leg prediction, I'm going to have to say Blackpool 2-1. You're having me on! <laughs> Although I want Ipswich to win, but I'm just going on hairy legs. Are you joking? Yeah, I've got 2-1. Blackpool. Oh, I can't even be asked. I mean, I hope I'm wrong. Right, so basically, Ellis forgot to predict Blackpool versus Ipswich Town, hence why he's filming at a different angle. But yeah, here's his prediction for Blackpool versus Ipswich. We'll ignore the fact that I forgot Blackpool against Ipswich. Ipswich are going to clearly win. I reckon Ipswich are going to win 2 0. So apologies, Alex. There we go. Crew versus Wigan then. Dad, this is a interesting one. Crew aren't the greatest side. They did get promoted from League Two, but they haven't got off to the best start. Wigan, I feel like they're finding their feet in League One. I think Wigan are going to get the away win 2-0. That's exactly what I've predicted. Whee! So, right, I've gone to the training grounds and I've watched them train. And I've worked out overall, Wigan have got the more hairy legs. So I've gone for a Wigan 2-0. Same as you. Come on. Whee! I've gone for Crew 1, Wigan 1. I think a lot of people are expecting Wigan to do really well without actually realising that their financial situation is actually really really torrid at the moment um i think as the season goes on they'll probably be safe i reckon they'll finish around 15th but they're not the wigan that people usually expect in league one and for that reason one one cheers ellis so we can move on to doncaster versus shrewsbury oh wait it's been postponed yeah doncaster versus shrewsbury has been postponed. Due to international call-ups exactly so we'll move on lincoln city versus bristol rovers i personally think lincoln quality team they've got off to a really really good start this season i feel i think they're either first or second i know they're in and around the top spots with ipswich town and hull but lincoln city whatever happens tomorrow i think they're going to beat bristol rovers i have gone for three nil i think they're going to absolutely battle bristol rovers and i think lincoln city will end up tomorrow top of league one right, before i give you that prediction i did look up in the guinness book of records and in 2015, the man with the hairiest legs was a chap called Jason Allen. He lived in the USA, and they measured his hairs on his legs. Right. I wonder how long they were. Oh, I don't know. 22.46 centimetres. That's not nearly as long as a ruler. Quite long, isn't it? <sighs> My prediction now for Lincoln Bristol Rovers. Lincoln, 2 nil to Lincoln. I've gone for Lincoln 1, Bristol Rovers at nil. All right then, so we can now move on to Northampton versus Peterborough. And this is a big one because uh, Northampton are, aren't a bad side. They're not a bad side. However, Peterborough, they've found their form. Uh, they've lost a couple of games, but they have been winning a few. They you know, they only lost to Sunderland, I think it was 1 or 2-0. They beat Fleetwood 2-1. Their form is a bit up and down. But I do think Peterborough will get the away win here. I've gone for 3-1. Wow, that's a good score. Right, I've done some research and I've gone for Northampton, Peterborough, what do you reckon? I don't know, Northampton are probably more up north, aren't they? They're more north, so more hairy. So I've gone for a 2-1 to Northampton. Okay. I've gone for Northampton 1, Peterborough 2. Peterborough are actually quite notorious for being either really slow starters or really fast starters. And I think they've got a strong enough squad this season to, to go on and do well, even though they've lost Ivan Tony. I expect them to beat Northampton 2-1. We'll move on then. To Plymouth versus Burton Albion now. You might be surprised with this prediction, Dad, but Plymouth are a good side. They've surprised a lot of people in League One, like I've said in a couple of episodes now. But Plymouth, I do feel like they're going to beat Burton. 
on Saturday, tomorrow, and I think Plymouth are going to only just edge it 2 1. Right, I've gone for Burton Albion 2, Plymouth Old Goal 0. Big shout. I've gone for Plymouth 1, Burton 1 because I don't really know much about either team. Right, the next game is Portsmouth versus MK Dons. Now, Portsmouth have been a bit up and down. They did win their first game against Burton Albion last Saturday, Dad. Mm. Hey. Hey. Um, and I feel like, you know, MK Dons, Ipswich Town, we played them last week. They're a very, very good side. But I think Portsmouth are starting to find their feet. They're, they're going to start picking up results now. I think Portsmouth, this is a shock result. This is a high, I feel like it's going to be a high goal scoring game. Portsmouth 3, MK Dons 2. I think Portsmouth are going to win. Well done, well, you didn't do very well last week though, did you on predictions? Yeah, but we're going to smash it this week. I beat you on seats last week, oh, how'd that happen? Shut up! Huh? On the number of seats I won. <laughs> I've gone for uh, uh, Milton Keynes, are going to get two goals. Portsmouth are going to get one goal. 2-1 Milton Keynes? Yep, 2-1 Milton because Keynes. Because they're more north, they've got more hairy legs, alright? they got to win because they've got hairy legs. That's it. Over to you, Alice. I've gone for Pompey 3, MK Dons 1. I personally believe that Kenny Jacket shouldn't still be in a job at Portsmouth, but I think they're going to be strong enough to beat MK Dons, who are obviously only on one point this season so far. <laughs> okay, the next game then is Swindon. Stop, versus... stop looking at my results. I'm not. My predictions. Right, Dad, get in the camera, man. You're not <laughs> leaning out of the camera. Sorry. Right then, the last game, Dad, is Swindon versus Wimbledon. Bit of a boring game. But we'll predict it. Tough one. It is a tough one, and that's why I've gone. I'm going to say it straight away. One all. But as they're not really that north, that's a tricky one for me because I think they've got smooth legs. Smooth <laughs> legs because they're sort of southerly. So Wait, I've so gone for a smooth, one-one. Smooth. Yeah, because they're sort of low down the country. They're not very high up. Not very. They haven't got hairy legs. They're not in the cold part of the country. So I've gone for a Swindon Town Wimbledon one-one. Same as me again. Yes. <laughs> Gone for a Desmond 2-2 in the Swindon Wimbledon game because I think both of them will kind of be in like the bottom half. So I've gone for a 2-2. Alright, so that is it. They are all of our predictions for game week five. And uh hopefully, Dad, mm. Griffin gets the win this week. Okay. What do you know I'm gonna do for next week? Dunno. Any more ideas on how you want my dad to pick the winning team? Comment down below any suggestions because it is all fun at the end of the day for dad. I'm actually doing my own predictions and uh Comment down below any more guests you would like to see on the channel and uh, we'll hopefully try and sort that out. Well, next week, I'm going to go on the team with the most baldies. Look, because don't mess with the baldies. <laughs> so, next week, that's the Eggheads win. There you go. Blue Army! Blue Army! Blue Army! <laughs> right, come on the Ipswich. Hopefully we beat Blackpool tomorrow. Thank you for watching this video. Remember, like this video. Subscribe to the channel down below and hit that notification button, the bell button, so you know every time I upload a video or I stream again, because tomorrow I will be streaming Blackpool vs Ipswich with my dad. Uh, right, we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Bye for now. Thanks for having me on, Alex, and um, good luck for the rest of the season. I expect Ipswich to get promoted. If you don't, then Paul Lambert should not be in a job next season. <laughs>